Wallace Meyer, uh, go by Marty. We're currently at the Robert J. Bernard Field Station. I'm the director and I'm also assistant professor of biology at Pomona College. The Bernard Field Station is an academic resource for the Claremont Colleges. Um, it provides hands-on um, research activities and dynamic research opportunities for not only students of the colleges but also students from anywhere who would like to conduct research on sage scrub or any other habitat that we have here at the station. Um, the research that we've been conducting here has been examining how these this native habitat stores carbon and it acts as a good control to other suburban urban environments to compare how they are storing carbon relative to how the native um, ecosystem is with um, you know no additional water um, and no additional nutrient inputs. So uh, in my own panel uh, with three speakers we have a person from I believe England, uh, the Pacific Northwest, and then myself here in Southern California. So we bring our own expertise not only in what we focus our research on but also um, how place influences our understanding of these different processes. Uh, global uh, climate change is upon us and uh, greenhouse gas concentrations are increasing and we have the ability to at least um, change the feedback loop so add more uh, carbon into the soil, uh, sequester that carbon for longer periods of time in the soil um, and reduce the impacts of global climate change or at least slow the impacts of climate change. All right, so I think this summit is critically important because when most people think about urban suburban environments, they think of them as very extractive, as releasing greenhouse gases. And I want to turn that conversation around and that we can use these hab habitats to actually store carbon and store many of the greenhouse gases that we're in. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's really interesting. When most people think of carbon, they're thinking of carbon in the atmosphere or carbon dioxide, right? Which is what they should be thinking. That's what we're increasing. That's a uh, greenhouse gas, right? So that's what's keeping the heat energy in and keeping the ecosystem warm. But when you think of carbon in this ecosystem type, right, this plant is composed of a lot of carbon. Um, so we, what we did measured here was above ground biomass. So everything that you're seeing that is a live plant, below ground biomass, which is the roots of that plant. Uh, so there's a lot of carbon stored in the roots. We looked at litter, which is like the leafy litter and the woody litter um, that lays on the ground. And then we uh, measured how much carbon was in the soil. And when you look at and you compare those different components, there is a lot more carbon stored in the soil than all the carbon you see here per square meter, right? By like five to six times as much carbon in the soil. So this, so studying so carbon in the soil is a critical factor to understanding um, uh, carbon sequestration and how much uh, carbon an area stores. Please join me at the Urban Soil Carbon Water Summit at the Los Angeles County Natural History Museum. It's going to be great.